Boom. <laughs> what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've uploaded a video, um, but this one's gonna be pretty cool. I've been waiting for this one for a little while. Um, it's just after Christmas. Uh, just got this in the mail. This is exciting. This is the Lab Golf, the Mesmax broomstick. <laughs> I've tinkered with all kinds of putters, as you guys have even seen on the channel. Um, I had the standard Mez for a while, switched back to a traditional type putter. Now, I'm trying to learn from my mistakes. Go with the heavier version, went with the Mez Max Heavy. And I was like, hey, let's try broomstick. We've tried everything else. So here it is, guys. Here's the official unboxing of my custom broomstick Mez. Let's check it out. Shipping was pretty quick. I ordered this like three weeks ago, so got it in pretty quick. Oh, <laughs> ooh-wee, boy. Ooh-wee, look at this, look at this. This is gonna be so funny because I've never even tried a broomstick putter. So I'm gonna look like I have no idea what I'm doing. Wow. Gosh, I love it. I went with the white Acra shaft. The split grip. Gosh, it's so beautiful. Look at that lab logo. Lab logo. Acra. I love this head cover. I'm, I got the white one last time, it got super dirty. This one is so sweet. Look how clean that is, the leather. Oh, and wait till you guys see the head I chose, the white color. Can you take a guess? Ooh. Oh my goodness. Look at that cappuccino mez broomstick. Are you kidding me? Look at that top sideline. Oh, oh gosh. It's got the broom on the, on the bottom. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Woo, boys, I'm fired up. Oh, I can't wait to roll a few putts with this sucker. I have no idea what I'm doing, but it's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. Super fired up about it. I'm um, just excited to tinker around with it and hope for some warmer weather soon so we can get out on the course and roll some putts with it. But uh, I'm gonna roll a few putts on this mat with it and uh, give you guys my first impressions of uh, Rolling the Mez One Max broomstick. She's a beaut, Clark. She's a beaut. All right, now for the fun part. Uh, trying to figure out <laughs> how to putt with this thing. <laughs> All right, from what I've seen, we do set it up. I think you go thumb on top, if I'm not wrong. I think you go thumb on top of the grip. Line that up, maybe a little bit forward in stance. Ball position just in front of center. Oh, I guess my hand just kind of comes in naturally. I'm gonna try like this claw, claw feel, I guess, first. Yeah, let's see how it goes. <laughs> that was the worst putt I've maybe ever hit in my life. That was way not good, let's see here. Okay, that was much better. That was much better. Felt a little bit more natural. Still, still funky. Okay. I'm feeling, I feel like I just bring it back and then kind of let it fall down on it maybe. Okay, that felt good. That felt pretty good. Nah, I like that. The cigar grip maybe. Let's try that. Yeah, when I feel like I just keep my left arm dead still, it's good, but I keep my left arm's used, so used to moving in the putt, putting stroke. It's, uh, it's kind of wanting to move around on me a little bit up top. We gotta lock this arm in. Maybe keep it as all one piece, kinda. So far, I'm not very good at this. 
Not a good look so far for me. Okay, that's better. I still, I still can't feel that stroke right, you know what I mean? I feel like that's something that's gonna take a lot of practice. I mean, the look and feel is amazing, but getting that stroke from a normal putt to this type situation is uh, proven to be a little bit more difficult for me than I thought it would be. Okay. That was better. I think I need to really get up over it like this. Really get on top of it. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's much better, much better. I was standing with my eyes on too far back, I think, starting out, making me pull a lot of putts. But now that I'm like down here over the ball, it feels, feels more natural. Yep, yeah, that's better. There we go. Yeah, that felt smoother. That felt smoother. Just kind of let the putter do the work. And that's better. I got, I'm gonna probably have to tinker around with grip, like my low hand. This is the first time I've ever putted broomsticks. You guys are watching, so. <laughs> um, so figuring out if I wanna go, you know, however. I'm not sure the best way to do that. Um, this feels, this like claw type feel, this like claw grip feels the most natural. For me anyways, like kind of like this, kind of almost almost a cigar grip, like I guess you'd call it. Um, claw, I might try over the top, both of them, like a pincher, like a claw, actual claw. Let's try that. Okay, I made that, but I definitely didn't like the feel of the claw versus the cigar grip. I think I like the, almost holding it like a pencil or a cigar. There we go, that felt better. That felt good. It's getting better, I feel like, as I go. So I feel like I feel like it's better when I get like over the top of it. Maybe that's just the eye line thing. That's so money when you do it right. <laughs> when, when you do the, the stroke correctly, the broomstick stroke correctly, this putter is amazing. I think it's just something I'm gonna have to practice a bunch with to get where I do it right each time. Cause that's so good. That is so good when you do it right. As an unboxing and um, about 20, 25 putts on the mat with the Mez Max broomstick. The thing is definitely gorgeous. It's a thing of, thing of art. <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, initial reactions. I have a lot of practicing to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's my initial reaction. Um, the putter feels awesome. It's soup, you know, I, I love how heavy it is. Um, the met, I'm glad I went with the heavier head. Um, it has so much, it is way heavier overall too with the longer shaft, obviously, um, than like the normal Mez that I had, the standard putter. Initial reaction, it feels great. It's definitely different. Um, if you're someone that's gonna go from, going from a traditional putter even a Mez, normal, to a broomstick. I think the broomstick part is gonna take me some time. Um, I'm excited to you know, try, try it a lot and practice with it. That's something I've never done before, is a broomstick, so I wanted to try it. Um, my initial, and the, really the reasoning I bought it is I almost feel like sometimes I putt better with one hand, like with my right hand. I feel like sometimes my left hand overcompensates and starts messing with my lines a little bit, like whereas like, Sometimes I'll just get up here and hit it with, you know, one handed over and over and over, and make them all day. Um, so I feel like this is more in tune with that, where you're just using your dominant hand, you know, to, to get it rolling online. So that's something I'll just have to tinker with, but I feel like I would be a better putter once I figure out how to do the broomstick stroke. That's something I'm gonna have to keep playing with, um, doing a lot of practicing with. But let me know if any tips and tricks in the comments, guys, if you guys are rocking the broomstick, Mez or, uh, any type of broomstick putter, any broomstick tips, I'll take them. Uh, obviously, as you can see, I need them. But super sweet putter, the thing is awesome. I mean, it does feel, you know, when you get the stroke right, it feels fantastic. Uh, coming off the face feels great. Love the weight. You almost feel like you just drop it on it and it does its thing. Going from trad, traditional, to broomstick is gonna be a change for sure. So 
that's something I'll just have to practice and maybe follow up with on a future video. That's it guys. That is the Mez Max broomstick unboxing and initial review. So like I said, comment below um, if you have one of these or if you're looking to get one um, and uh, you know, curious to hear what you guys think about it. So thanks again for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one.